to our vagina. Can I see you laughing? Are you uncomfortable with vagina monologues? Yep, you heard that right. The Phoenix Deaf Women's Organization, Deaf Bridge, and Phoenix College teamed up in Arizona this weekend to bring you Eve Ensler's Vagina Monologues. You know, some of us laugh at some of it, some of the stories are really chewy. Inspired, touched, and supporting domestic violence from here on out. We just finished our month-long domestic violence coverage that was sponsored in part by Deaf Bridge. Well, now they're using this event to help with their cause and others. We're going to donate some of the money to the Who Will Answer campaign, and we're also going to keep some of the money for Deaf Bridge to fund a hotline and a shelter here locally. The hashtag Who Will Answer campaign is fighting for 24-7 access to a national deaf domestic violence hotline, but the monologues aren't only meant to fund these causes. Gladly kisses the feet of mothers, nurses, servers, cleaners, and nannies. The main reason behind the vagina monologues is to really raise awareness. It's been around. The script has changed. It's been in 48 languages, maybe 49 because we look at this out here now. The international nonprofit V Day helps provide these events to empower women and raise awareness. You know, for the last 16 years, $100 million have been raised. Each of these performances was based on an interview with an actual woman about the experience they, and their vaginas, have had. I think that's really what keeps the vagina monologues going. Plus, you have this kind of transformation where you get to match each story to each woman, and, and then you get to have the money for local domestic and sexual violence agencies so they can continue their work. The MC for the night, Jack Cook, came all the way from California to work this show, and so did some of the audience members. Love. You can learn more about the organizations that got involved by following the links that we have posted below. <laughs>